The PS3 generation of Square Enix was probably the roughest point in this company's history. On previous generations of hardware, we'd get three brand new mainline Final Fantasy titles, on top of which we'd get a ton of spin-off titles, brand new IPs such as Kingdom Hearts or Parasite Eve, and Square was putting out a ton of high quality games. However, during the move to the HD generation, we'd see them turn away from that. Instead of getting three brand new mainline Final Fantasy games, we got lightning three times. Kingdom Hearts wouldn't receive a brand new HD mainline title that entire generation. Dragon Quest IX would be a DS exclusive and Dragon Quest X would be an MMO. Basically all of Square Enix's major franchises would be in this weird place during this HD generation. All in the meanwhile, they were pumping out an unprecedented number of Final Fantasy mobile games. During the turn of the PS4 generation, this did get significantly better. And today, I'm here to report some very good news that Square Enix is only looking to improve this even further. So you are going to want to hit that subscribe button because today, I got some good news. In Square Enix's recent financial results briefing session, they have said they want to create more high quality HD games. This is fantastic news because as I mentioned, things haven't always been like this. Spin-offs here, mobile games there, without enough high quality HD games out but it appears this is now going to be one of the major focuses of the company moving forward, with them focusing on titles that quote, are carefully selected for global appeal. Now for anyone hoping this means that they're going to back off anything involving Web3, NFTs, etc., they are absolutely not and they mention so in the financial briefing. However, for the most part, these are going to be separate games, separate projects, and aren't anything to worry about at least right now. So you don't quite have to panic that NFTs are going to be in Final Fantasy 17. Now this being said, Square Enix's profits overall are down 12.2% and they attribute this to two things. For starters, there was no expansion pack for Final Fantasy 14 and Dragon Quest 10. And as far as HD games go, they say that quote, sales did not reach the level of previous year despite release of multiple new titles. It's impossible to ignore that one of those major underperforming titles was for Spoken. Aside from this, there were some smaller titles released such as Valkyrie Elysium and Star Ocean The Divine Force, and most notably Crisis Core Reunion. Though not explicitly stated, I believe they were banking on for Spoken selling a lot more than it did, and that was their only major AAA release for this year, so I'm willing to bet that's why the HD games department is definitely down. That and they didn't have a big release for any of their major IPs. After all, the most major release on this list is Crisis Core Reunion, and even then that was a $50 budget title. Now again, they are looking to create more HD high quality games and do so more frequently, and in order to do that, they will be investing money from their mobile and MMO divisions back into funding the development of HD games. Now this has sparked some discussion if Final Fantasy XIV's money will be funding a Final Fantasy VII kart racing game. Jokes aside, there are some people who are understanding upset that the money is not being reinvested into those games. And I think it's quite clear that when you look at everything that's supposed to be coming for 7.0, including a graphics update, not to mention the ever-increasing production values of Final Fantasy XIV, I would say that Final Fantasy XIV is being well reinvested in, so this isn't really something that I'm particularly worried about. But with Square Enix saying that they want to release more high-quality games, I'm going to pitch some suggestions for them. I'm not really one to saturate the market with more remakes, but since the market is already saturated with remakes, how about you remake Parasite Eve? I think I speak for everyone when I say we need a brand new Chrono game, and is Nier 3 ever going to be a thing? Like I'm loving the Nier anime, I'm even looking forward to the inevitability of 2B showing up in Fortnite, but can we please get another major Yoko Taro game? With this said, the future looks exciting for Square at the moment, we got Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Final Fantasy 14 7.0, Dragon Quest 12, Kingdom Hearts 4, and whatever else they are going to be cooking up. Shout out to Peter and the rest of the Ultima community.